Today, I'm here in Thorold South, and if you can see behind me, I'm in a brand new subdivision. Now, this is one of the most exciting developments and largest developments here, not only in Thorold, but also in the Niagara region. Now, this is Empire Calder Woods. Now, Empire is a large volume developer here. They've been producing a lot of homes in the Niagara region for many, many, many years. And this site is definitely worth noting. Now, today's vlog, I'm gonna be taking you around Thorold to about four to five big residential development sites that I wanna show you guys what's really happening here in Thorold. Now, Thorold has so much land available, hence why you're seeing all of this new residential development take place. Now, this specific development here at Empire at Calderwood has homes ranging from 1,450 square feet all the way up to 2,500 square feet. That includes townhomes, single family homes, as well as semi-detached homes, ranging on lots from anywhere from 27 feet up to about 35 feet with various floor plans and various price points. Now, starting in this area, you can expect to pay somewhere in the lines of around $750,000 for a townhouse and of course creeping its way up to your larger detached homes that are 2,500 square feet, four bedroom, three and a half bathroom, you can expect to pay somewhere in the lines of 900 to a million dollars. Now why this location has been so popular is that geographically we're really close to everything right now. So Niagara Falls literally is right there. I can actually see the Skyline Tower from here. It's only about a five minute drive into Niagara Falls. Lendy's Lane is there, which is the main road or Highway 20 that takes you right into Niagara Falls. Right behind me, if we were to go north, that'll take us right into St. Catharines. So you're literally only about a seven minute drive under the Thorold Tunnel into St. Catharines. And 10 minutes west, will get you right into Welland and Fawn Hill. So this is why people choose to live here in Thorold because it is essentially located, it's close to highways, it's got all your amenities, and that's why Empire Homes is here building this massive residential development with homes. There's probably up to five to 6,000 homes being built right here on this site. So if this is your first time on my channel and you guys wanna know everything about what it's like living here in Niagara from work, play, eating, buying and selling real estate and literally everything else in between, then make sure you do one thing and hit like, subscribe and tap that little notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post up videos just like this one. Now, if we haven't met yet, guys, my name is Andrew Kulikowski and I'm a local real estate agent here and team leader with the Living in Niagara Real Estate Group at eXp Realty. And our team here helps hundreds of people every single year buy and sell real estate here. And of course, we absolutely love it. So if you're watching this and that person's you and you're thinking about either making a move now or in two years, or you're a local resident and maybe you're looking to buy or sell, then make sure you reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. You guys are always welcome to call, text, email, schedule a Zoom call, but just remember we've always got your back when you're making that move right here in the Niagara region. All right guys, so I'm parked right now. We're still in Empire Calderwood and I just wanted to make note because we're gonna head over to another subdivision shortly that I wanna show you. Um, but this main road that we're on, Barker, it actually is going to connect with the Rolling Meadows development, which we're gonna be going to very shortly. And I just wanted to make note of that because it's pretty significant, the amount of homes that are going to be making up this area. And now you're gonna have access from the back of these subdivisions, uh, not only from the main drag like Highway 20, but you're also gonna have access through all these subdivisions uh, back here. So hang tight, we're gonna take you over to that development very shortly. And we're gonna show you uh, from that angle and what's happening over in that. So there's actually a bunch of different builders over in that uh, development. Uh, Empire has nothing to do with that one there. Let's go check it out. So we're heading out of Empire Calderwood right now and I just wanna highlight that there's a traffic circle at the end of Barker Parkway. One of the things that you're gonna notice here in the Niagara region now are these traffic circles are becoming really, really popular. And actually they make a ton of sense, uh, especially when you have a main artery 
going into a subdivision that uh, is going to be really, really busy. Instead of doing a set of street lights, uh, they actually do a traffic circle. So pretty cool to see at the entranceway of a brand new subdivision. All right, guys, so we're right now on Davis Road. We've left Empire Calderwood. Uh, we're running southbound right now. We're gonna go on the west side of Davis Road to a little infill development that I wanna show you. Uh, to the right of me, if you don't already know, Thorold actually has a jail. Uh, so there's a jail right there, and uh, right here is John Michael's Banquet Hall. Also worth noting, they've got fantastic food there. They put on an amazing event if you ever have to get married or you're going to an event there. Make it a point to go there because it's a great spot. But uh, also worth noting is that you can see, I don't know if you can see behind me but or around, but all of the roads are getting resurfaced here. Again, obviously supporting the amount of population and new development that uh, that's going on in this neck of the woods. You're going to continually see see um, this type of improvement going on in this area but we're heading up right now we're actually about to turn onto the street right here and uh, we're gonna get out and I'm just gonna kind of show you it's not a huge development there's probably I would say about 12 to 15 homes at best uh, that are being built here um, but they're nice homes it's not a large developer but we're gonna take you outside and just kind of show you around a little bit All right, guys, so as mentioned, we're here. We're across Allenberg Road at this little development that's taking place, about 15 to 20 homes that are being built. Uh, the builder's a local reputable builder, um, RO Beam Group. They build uh, homes all around the Niagara region. They do some really, really nice uh, product. Um, but worth noting, these homes here behind me, they're averaging in price from around 800,000 to 900,000, depending on, of course, finishes, size, bedrooms. Um, but the location of where we are now, obviously being Thorold South, um, it's a bit of a mixed bag in this area. There's, uh, there's homes that are date back to the 40s, 50s. Uh, there's an industrial commercial component as well, uh, just about a block away from here. Um, this one again being a little bit of an infill and an extension to an old neighborhood. But here in Thorold, you're finding that there is a lot of this infill or extensions to old neighborhoods and this type of residential development that's taking place wherever a builder can obviously build homes. Thorold is open for business and they're allowing a lot of this type of development to take place. Uh, there's a combination of detached homes as well as townhomes. I've been in many of them and showed many of them. Super impressive. Uh, they're all about 1,600 square feet and up starting in your townhomes. Uh, and the price point, they're starting at around $799,000. I know there's about a handful that are still available. Really love this location. You're super close to Brock University, super close to DQ Falls. Uh, Lake Gibson, of course, if you like to fish, and uh, super convenient because you can get into Welland and St. Catharines pretty quick as well. So we made our way over to the Rolling Meadows subdivision here. As you can see behind me, you got a lot of green space. You have this entire open field behind me. You have soccer fields over there. You have a playground. Uh, this is a master plan community. This community erupted approximately seven to eight years ago off the top of my head with further development taking place. Now, Barker Parkway, as previously mentioned, uh, on the other side by Empire Calderwood, that road is actually is going to run right through to Davis Road. So as I mentioned, these subdivisions are going to be connected. Now, this subdivision is not an empire community. This one has various builders who purchase land or plots of uh, lots in here and they've built homes. Now, the one thing is you can still see there's still a lot of lots that are available to be developed in here. I know there's a lot of builders that have sold out of some of the lots, but I think uh, moving forward, there's going to be more availability uh, to have a house built in this location. Prices in here, they kind of vary. There's townhomes, there's uh, detached homes in here, but on average, the townhome is going to range in that high six, early 700 range up to $1 $1.3, one $1.4 million for some of the larger detached, again, depending on finishes, lot size, all of that type of stuff as well. But this is a, a fantastic master plan community. 
uh, located in a great location. Again, we're only literally two minutes away from everything in this vicinity. You get it a well in Niagara Falls, St. Catharines, super, super easy. Um, if you want more information on this location, reach out to me. Always happy to send, uh, send you listings. There's a lot of homes for sale actually in this subdivision right now too. Uh, I think it's a sign of the times and what's happening in the market with high interest rates. I think uh, I think we're gonna continue to see more inventory pop up in these large, uh, newer subdivisions. All right, guys, we're at our last stop here at Artisan Ridge. This development is being built by Marydell Homes. As you can see, there's probably two to 300 homes being built on this site. I love this location. You're super close to DQ Falls, just off Beaver Dams Road. Homes in this development are starting around 900,000. There's a combination of townhomes and single family homes, but this is just another prime example of another fantastic residential development taking place here in Thorold. Guys, if you have any questions about anything I showed you on today's vlog, whether it be new construction or resale, please make sure you reach out to me. You guys know how to get a hold of me. Call, text, email, DM, or schedule a Zoom call. But that's all for now, guys, and we'll see you all on my next video.